First of all, let me take two beer bottles. These are aluminium bottles because it's much easier to work on them. We need to make a cut about here using a grinder and later using some sandpaper we can clean the cut. Now let me take some big motors. These are 24 volts, 4000 RPM motors that go extremely fast and they have the, the same dimension of the beer bottle as you can see. Only that the head of the motor is square so it doesn't fit in. I need to make it round using a grinder. This is the result. Now I took some pistons, just like the piston you can find in the doors of the car. This piston usually can go inside and outside, you can open and close the door easier, but in this case we, we use the fact that this, the piston can also spin without friction, without big friction. We need to cut the piston about here. Be careful because inside you can find some compressed air or some compressed oil, so be careful. We will use this part just because inside there is a gasket then that can uh, isolate the motor from the water. So this big O-ring keep the water away from the bottle. We need to connect now the piston to the motor. To do this I will take a piece of tube, in this case a, a vinyl tube. This tube can also absorb a little bit of the vibration of the motor. So I cut it about five centimeters and I can insert the piston inside and also the motor. They have the same dimension. This isn't enough to keep the things connect together. I need to make holes to insert a stopper so it doesn't spin away. Just a piece of metal wire can, can do the job. And so as you can understand this make the connection much stronger. Okay, the motor and the piston goes perfectly inside the beer bottle on the top right here and the top is the, our gasket. It can also spin, later we will put some glue. To make sure that the motor doesn't move I will put some silicone around it. Now I cut other two beer bottles because I just need the side of them. This will work like a cap. So I put a big amount of silicone on the aluminium and I squish them from the side. So I seal away all the water. Make sure that bottle, that the bottle is absolutely straight and let the glue dry overnight. The, ne the next morning is all sturdy and dry. We can now put some polyurethanic glue, not silicone, but polyurethanic glue on top and we can push a little bit inside the piston. This is enough to keep the water away. Now I bought some big propellers. These are six, six centimeters wide propellers. I bought them on eBay and I can just push them on top and fix them in place. The electronic sch schematic is very simple. We have two 12 volt batteries, a reed switch, a relay and the motors. So this is how it looks like. We have the relay, we have the reed switch and all the cables connection that holds the, the, uh, the batteries together. The reed switch is a very little component, a very interesting part because it closes uh, close the, the gap when there is a magnet next to it. Next to it. Now we take a container, this is a big PVC pipe and it was from a previous project, uh, underwater xenon torch. There is a big o-ring, we can put the batteries inside and we close everything from behind using the cap. So how to seal the cap, it's very important and it's also very simple. So we, we have to make a couple of holes using a drill and then we can take some plastic bottle caps and push the copper cable inside. Then we can seal everything using a lot of polyurethanic glue inside the plastic cap and we push it on, on top. How can I activate the motors? Because now all the circuit and the batteries are inside. It's very simple. We will use a little magnet and we place it next to the reed switch.
now I just need to find something to hold the motor in place on my feet. So this very old shoe works great. I just need to cut it in half using a grinder. And now on the back side I put some nylon strips and I can secure the bottle in place. I do the same thing on both the bottles and now we are ready to test it in water. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the project as much as I done. A thumbs up is always appreciated and helps me growing. So I leave you with my three past projects, how to make a breathing underwater device which is also made with recycled parts and also how to make a underwater air bubble 22 feet underwater where I can stay for about 15 minutes and also how to make an extremely powerful LED torch. So, See you there or see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao ciao!